Hello and welcome to our presentation on the features and operation of OptiPerformer. My name is Brian Tipper. I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing here at OptiWave and I'll be assisting your host Ahmed Atia. As with previous sessions, we will launch three polls for you to answer. Uh, we'll also have two question and answer periods at the halfway mark and at the end. And on the uh, GoToWebinar control panel, you'll find the PowerPoint handout. So please feel free to download this at any time. And finally, we'll be recording this webinar and emailing the link to everybody today before noon Eastern Standard Time. So it goes out exactly one hour after the uh, session ends. And uh, with that said, let's get the webinar underway. I'd like to introduce your host, our Director of Optical Systems, Ahmed Atia. Yes, good morning, everyone, uh, and hello to this webinar. Uh, today's webinar would be about features and operation of Opti Performer, uh, which is a software tool. Uh, uh, it's offered by OptiWave as a con uh, um, an addition to Opti system uh, uh, software. Um, today's uh, presentation would be, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, this Opti Performer software tool. Uh, give you some information about applications for it, and then I'm gonna give you the uh, some information on how to download it and install it. Uh, then uh, some features and capabilities about Opti Performer, uh, and then show you the example libraries, which is usually uh, offered with the uh, once you do the installation. Uh, and then I'll show you how to create an Opti Performer file example. Uh, and then uh, well, how to set and operate the Opti Performer uh, uh, software. And then we end up with some questions and uh, answers. Okay, so uh, basically uh, Opti Performer is a, a software tool which is free of charge. Uh, uh, usually you download it from uh, OptiWave uh, uh, website. Um, you need Opti system uh, at least one license to acquire, to be able to uh, create files for Opti Performer and calculate Opti Performer files. Uh, now, um, there is no need for any security or any licensing uh, for Opti Performer. Uh, again, you need a single, at least single license for Opti system to operate uh, Opti Performer and, and run files and create files. And now you can use uh, uh, Opti Performer on as many uh, machines as you want. Uh, for the same project you create with Opti system, uh, so you don't. Uh, there is no limit on the number of users who run a project created uh, by Opti system uh, as a, a Opti performer file, and uh, there is no need to have Opti system on the machine where, where you wanted to uh, calculate or. Okay. So uh, again, uh, Opti Performer uh, software is a stand. Uh, you can run it uh, on a separate machine from Opti System, uh, 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 this, the machine which has Opti System software on it. The, typically, the uh, files are uh, uh, having uh, a, a format of OSB, .osp. So you have the file name and uh, the uh, the f file name, and then the, it's stored in the Opti wherever you want it on your your computer. Um, now, uh, in Opti Performer, the file which you create, uh, basically you have uh, limited access to the parameters of the components. You have uh, full access for setting all the parameters of the components in Opti system. However, the user of Opti Performer can uh, uh, can change some or vary some parameters, uh, which it's set by the Opti system uh, cre file creator. Um, and um, the main application or you, uh, for Opti performer can be, uh, as we see it, uh, could be done by our R&D team at, uh, for example, uh, um, um, a corporate, where, uh, for example, uh, an R&D team creates a design, and this design once they finalize the design, they create an Opti Performer file and then pass it to manufacturing engineering where uh, the team there, they do specific tests on specific parameters to, to see the, the, the uh, results of them in an, in, uh, in an environment, which is uh, experimental environment. Uh, or it can be passed to technicians to check, for example, the quality of, uh, uh, of product and compare it with the, what we, they built. 
so to control the process of, of manufacturing. Another application we see for Opti Performer is, uh, for example, in academia, where, for example, a professor creates uh, an Opti Performer file and pass it to his student. In this file, he could, uh, for example, uh, set uh, certain parameters for his students to investigate uh, these parameters to, to look, for example, for uh, performance uh, of the system or uh, optimize the design of the system and so on uh, and so on. Now, the Opti Performer uh, uh, available right now on OptiWave website is the Opti Performer 15, which is basically, uh, uh, it has to work in conjunction with uh, Opti System 15, which is already released uh, like a few months ago. Uh, so it's very important to have the same level of, of uh, versions. You cannot run, for example, Opti Performer 15 on Opti System 14. It has to be the same level. Now, you can download the Opti Performer free of charge uh, from OptiWeb uh, website at the downloads uh, uh, part, and uh, you can follow the instructions there to, to do the installation. It's a very simple installation process. Uh, now, once you do install the uh, Opti Performer uh, uh, software or tool, uh, then later on we're going to show you how to use it and how to create files with uh, Opti system if, uh, to be used by Opti Performer uh, software. Okay, now we're gonna move into the uh, features and uh, capabilities of Opti Performer. Uh, so first, uh, first of all, Opti Performer files uh, again uh, we, to to calculate them or to to run them, you don't need to have Opti System software to exist. Uh, uh, the other thing is, um, for example, the uh, the parameters usually were you wanted the user of Opti Performer to adjust or vary uh, set through the global parameters uh, in Opti system. And uh, the number of parameters you can uh, basically allow the Opti Performer user to vary and control is unlimited. So you, you, we're gonna show you how to add up the parameters and uh, basically you can, uh, can add up as many parameters as you want. Now the uh, project layout, once you create an Opti Performer file, uh, it cannot be edited or changed. Uh, uh, just only you can change the parameters of the components which, which you uh, set by Opti system. Uh, now in Opti Performer, one, one good advantage as well in it is you can attach files in different formats, doc files, PDF files, text files, Excel images, whatever. Uh, and this can be having information, for example, as, as we mentioned, uh, for students or for technicians or manufacturing engineering with instructions, with specifications, whatever you wanted to add up uh, to, uh, to the project which you pass to, to the users of Opti Performer. Now, also the, um, the, uh, the process of Opti Performer, again, it's, it's enabling the the other party users, like as I said again, like manufacturing engineering or technicians or students to verify certain designs or a certain system uh, by varying limited number of parameters. You don't uh, have access to all parameters of all components in the system. You have only limited number of parameters so, and, and you can check them out uh, and vary them. Also the um, Opti Performer, in the process when you create the Opti Performer file, uh, in Opti system uh, software tool, you can uh, do some uh, control over the sweep and all types of sweeps. So uh, the Opti Performer user can uh, you know, adjust and vary uh, these, uh, these sweeps uh, during the, the process of testing. Uh, now, in Opti Performer file, you will have visualizers, and these visualizers are created in Opti system, basically. Uh, in the Opti Performer, you will have access to all these visualizers. And once you calculate the uh, file or the project in, in Opti Performer, you will be able to see the results on the visualizers, uh, which all of them you're gonna, uh, all types of visualizers are available. Uh, and also uh, in Opti uh, Performer, you will have access to uh, reports. These reports has to be created first in Opti system. So you have, for example, uh, graphs or Excel, uh, Excel data format or, or uh, text, 
and uh, these reports, uh, once you do the calculation of the performer, you will uh, you can take a look at the reports and see the results as we're gonna show you in the example later on today. Uh, also, the Opti Performer has the feature of providing bill of material calculation as uh, one of the features in it. Okay, now uh, Opti Performer example um, uh, library. Once you install the Opti Performer system, there is um, uh, a samples library, which is created basically from the sample library of Opti system. So all these uh, files which you see here uh, in the uh, Opti Performer sample library is a mirror image of what is in Opti system, just created to give uh, a chance for the users. There is no parameters here uh, varied. Uh, if you wanted to create uh, parameters for the users to adjust, you need to recreate the file in Opti system again. Um, this is a subdirectory where uh, you can see, for example, the format of the file, which is OSP, and uh, basically the 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 again the all the format of the of the file. Uh, this is the, the look of the Opti Performer, which is I'm going to explain to you in a few minutes, uh, details about every part of this go, uh, graphical user interface. Okay, so now to create Opti Performer example, uh, the, we have to start from an Opti system. Again, we need a, a single license at least to create a file. Uh, in the corporate or in the uh, in the um, in the uh, department at the university, uh, you need this license to create the file. So what you need to do is you need to add parameters basically uh, uh, through the global parameter pop-up window or through layout parameters. And uh, if you can see here, I created um, uh, an example, which is an Opti system example uh, here. Uh, which has a laser, CW laser, a pseudo random bit sequence generator, a pulse generator, and then modulator, then a piece of fiber detector and filter, and then a bit error tester, just to show you an example how to, to do the, um, the adjustment. So what you need to do, you need to go to the global parameters. Once you go to the global parameters, you have to go add parameters. So in the add parameters, for example, if I wanted to uh, adjust the power of the laser. I define this parameter, let's say, laser power. And then uh, let's say here, uh, I uh, choose the range of this power, let's say from minus 100 uh, to 100 uh, dBm. The va current value is zero, the unit is dBm. Now, once I add this parameter here, it's added to the, um, basically do the global parameter uh, layout. Uh, now this parameter, I can have it as a single value or I can sweep it. For example, if I do sweep, then I should be able to sweep this parameter. You can control the number of sweeps so from this window here. Uh, it's now, for example, set to three values. You can fill up the values of the power you need to cover. For example, if I go, you can enter it by hand or you can enter it through the spreading tool and let's say zero here and here 10 dBm and you press OK. Then now this parameter is added, laser power, which is I need to go and script this parameter in the component of the laser later on. Now I can add up another parameter here, let's say call it fiber length. Okay, and this fiber length is let's say between one th zero minimum value, maximum is 1000. Current value is let's say 25 kilometers and the unit is kilometer here, and then add. Same scenario, I can, for example, sweep it. Let's say I sweep it for, again, three values. I have to sweep, I have enter manually, or I can enter through the spreading tool. To enter through the spreading tool, you have to highlight it and then press linear. And here, let's say I have 100 kilometers and press okay. So now these two parameters are uh, added to the global parameter. Now, if you go back again to the uh, presentation here, uh, the next step after adding parameters, you need to go and, for example, if you want to do sweep, you can do sweep on these parameters. If you wanted to uh, just only take a single value to be to to perform the testing in Opti Performer, you can just only select a value. Now, once that is done, uh, then you go script these parameters into the components of interest. So the component of interest in, in, in our scenario here is the, you press here, okay. 
and then I go, I go for example, the laser. The laser power here is, let's say, is now normal. What you need to do is, let's say, for example, I script it, and then when I script it, you have to enter the, the value, for example, of the script, and you press OK. You can check it, if you like, using the evaluate, just to double check. Same thing here, fiber length, I can script it to be able to control it. And then let's say if you do evaluate, the value at this moment is 25 kilometers and you press OK. So now uh, the, um, the setting for uh, the parameter, which I need to adjust in this example, for example, the length of the fiber, I need to sweep it, the power of the laser, I need to sweep it. I can do whatever parameters I need to do. As I said earlier, there is no limit for the number of parameters which you can basically control and adjust. Okay, and then if you go back again now to the, to the here, the steps, next step is we need to create the reports. Uh, for example, which we need to, uh, uh, the user of OptiPerformer to see. So if you go to the uh, Opti, Opti, Opti system here, I created, previously two reports. One is Excel spreadsheet where I record va values from uh, the power meters. If you see here, I create, I put power meter here, another power meter here after the fiber and before the fiber. And also I recorded in this report, the uh, bit error rate, okay, uh, which is ob obtained. And then, uh, Okay, and then here is the graph which shows the, the performance of the, of the layout. Now, once the project is ready here, you can, for example, as a user for OptiSystem, calculate it and double check that everything is fine, uh, the results are correct. And now then uh, the, the, uh, you can pass it, for example, to again, to manufacturing engineering or to technicians or the students uh, after you create the Opti performance. So the next step we're gonna talk about here is how uh, to, uh, after creating the report is to create the Opti Performer file. Uh, so the first step to create the Opti Performer file, uh, you need to do a export a performer, uh, uh, select Opti Performer, then do setting. And I'm gonna show you how to do this step here, basically. You go to file and then here export and then Opti Performer. Opti Performer, you, if you uh, put your cursor on it or the mouse on it, you're gonna see sitting and export. So you do first step is sitting. Now in the sitting, you pop up window here, it shows where you can put information uh, of, for, um, for your project creator. So for example, it could be your uh, uh, university logo or your company logo here, you can put it, you can uh, download your logo. You can uh, put the address, you can put emails, you can put additional information. For example, this is assignment number uh, X, or this is a design project for certain uh, parameters. And then once you do that, you can do preview here. You can see what is gonna look like uh, on the uh, Opti Performer uh, uh, file created. Okay, and then once you're done, we are happy with it, you press okay. Now, again, in the setting here, I want to show you uh, that, you can uh, do here the parameters. Now, in, if you remember in the Opti system, we uh, added two parameters. One of them is called laser power and the other one is fiber length. Now, these added parameters, if you want the user of Opti Performer to have access of these parameters and, add, and vary them and control them, you need to check them here. So once you check them, they will appear on Opti Performer. If you don't check them, they will not appear in Opti Performer control. Okay, so let's say check them here and then you go attachment. Now this attachment, again, you can add up any file uh, you wanted, uh, uh, specification data sheet, images, uh, PowerPoints, any type of uh, format and any number of, of files you can add up here. Once you're done with the setting, you press okay. And then you go back again into export, Opti Performer. Now you do export here. Once you do export, it, it pop up the window here tells you that once, if you want to continue, it means you're gonna save the system which you created and you create an Opti Performer, okay? So once you do that, it, it, it gives you the location where you wanted to uh, save your file. Uh, I created one file here as we're gonna look at it later on uh, for, for, for the purpose of this webinar, okay? 
So for the time being, I'm going to take a break here and uh, pass the mic to Brian to take uh, the, sec uh, the second poll. Thanks very much for listening. Okay, thank you very much, Ahmed. And uh, my apologies earlier for accidentally muting you. Apparently, the mute all also gets the uh, presenter. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch the uh, second poll for everybody to, uh, to go ahead and answer. And if you guys have any questions, please type them out into the uh, question section and Ahmed will handle them after the uh, poll ends. And again, uh, just to remind everybody, uh, we will be sending out the recording of this video uh, exactly one hour after it uh, completes. So uh, uh, you'll go ahead and get the download uh, for that and you'll be able to, uh, to rewatch it if you'd like. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this poll and I will pass the uh, mic back over to Ahmed. Okay, thanks, Brian. Um, just to continue now on the uh, the uh, file, how to create it and the presentation here. So uh, if... Uh... Okay, so now the file is created and uh, has the uh, um, extension of OSP. Once the file is created, uh, again, this is the uh, Windows which, uh, which shows, as we showed it to you, how to set up uh, the information, the parameters, the attachments. And um, basically, now if you open the Opti Performer uh, in, 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 uh, here, this is the Opti Performer. So the Opti Performer uh, GUI, uh, it looks like this way. Uh, you have uh, uh, the project look uh, appears in this uh, window here, and this is the attachment window. This is the parameters where uh, you the parameters you added up for control. So this is the parameters for laser power and fiber length in kilometer and dBm, and this is the window where you control the. For example, if you want to open a file uh, from certain location, here this is to calculate the project and uh, basically here to go through sweeps uh, this is the information which shows you the the software uh, version and the information you entered for the user to use this is for example attachments uh, so sorry this is the bill of material and then uh, the attachment looks like here and then again this is two keys here for scrolling down now to calculate the project you just press here calculate and then the calculation once it's done uh, you can look at the reports, for example, it created the report. So here we have three values of power at the outputs. And this is the, for example, pulse at the output of the, of the file. Uh, the user only have access now only to these parameters. These parameters, if you want to go, for example, in, in the report, you can go from uh, trace to trace. Uh, this is up and down in the uh, setting of the parameters. Okay, uh, and this is now here in the uh, window in the uh, project. If you go to the project here, you have file where you can close the uh, file or exit it. Uh, you have a view. In the view, you have uh, three uh, uh, selections here. One of them is parameter setting. Okay, so if you if you enable or disable, it, it shows up the pop-up window here. Uh, for example, if I don't want to see it, I can just only uh, deselect it. You have zooming function and the display properties you have, view signals, view parameters, view results, uh, the layout. So all of this, uh, these uh, things is uh, Opti Performer. Again, uh, the user will have only access to when he calculate the project to vary parameters here. You can enter parameter if you like, uh, change the parameters here, let's say instead of 15, you can enter 15. And then uh, when you do the calculation, again, the parameter of the power is for the first, for example, or second trace, depends on what is the iteration here, it will be 15. And it's do the calculation again. So uh, the, again, the, uh, the, the, the uh, GUI of Opti Performance looks like here. So you have, again, this Windows control. And... Uh, now the process of uh, of sitting and operation the the Opti Performer, uh, the the steps which we did is first first step is to to open the file you load the file through the file loading, and then uh, the parameter windows uh, which you can control the vary and vary parameters in it is is limited by the selection. So if you 
if you don't select, um, if you go here, and if in, 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 this, in the creation of the Opti Performer file, if you don't select uh, this in the setting the parameters, you will not see these parameters in here. And basically, you will not be able to calculate the project except uh, on the uh, uh, default values set on the, on the project. OK, and now if you notice in, in Opti Performer, the units um, is fixed. Which means uh, in in the uh, in the um, in the, this field here, the units is dBm or kilometers. Uh, uh, if um, I mean we are thinking in the next release, we'll we'll have flexibility to to change the unit. So we have another column here which has the unit, and then the unit you can change, for example, from dBm to watt, from uh, other units for milliwatt, a kilometer to meter to picometer. So to give more uh, freedom for the user to to adjust. Okay, and then um, uh, the users uh, can vary only the, again, the parameters is enabled in Opti system and can view any attachment, uh, uh, attached files uh, in, the, in the GUI. Uh, the visualizer, visualizers are calculated and viewed in the Opti Performer and uh, in Opti Performer basically calculate the component settings which is saved in Opti system, uh, which is the parameter and the parameter chosen in Opti Performer. Okay, so this is the project. If I, I, I look at the project, um, and now if you go back again, and uh, sorry, this project here, uh, if, you, if you calculate the project, sorry. Okay, so if you calculate the project here, calculation is done. Uh, the the results of the bit error rate basically. Uh, so this is Opti system. It shows you the the iterations. Okay, so if you look at the uh, uh, bit error tester here, so this is, for example, the sitting for the third trace. If you go to the second trace here, the second trace, and this is the first uh, sweep, which is the settings uh, done. Uh, you can open any other visualizer uh, separately, and again, you can go th scroll through the iterations here, every iterations. Uh, so all the visualizer, you have access to them, and you can see the the, the results for every trace and uh, monitor what and monitor the the, the output uh, and and investigate by by the student you can export these uh, images uh, similar to opti system so you can create the reports for for uh, for manufacturing or for uh, students okay um, now Okay, so with this, I conclude the um, the presentation today. And uh, uh, if you have any question, please uh, uh, write it down. And uh, uh, Brian here is gonna, gonna do the last uh, poll. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Ahmed. Uh, last poll is being launched right now. And uh, as Ahmed just uh, stated, uh, please type any questions that you guys might have. Uh, right now, and he can answer the uh, the questions during this session. Otherwise, if you have questions that you'd like to ask afterwards, you can send it uh, to support at optwave.com and we can uh, handle them uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. And also, uh, uh, feel free to download uh, Opti Performer at any time. You could find it on our website. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's good for the poll. I'll go ahead and close it. And I'll pass it back to Ahmed. Okay. Um, 
Uh, so uh, I'd like to thank everyone who attended today the uh, presentation. And uh, again, if you have any question, please uh, don't hesitate to, to send an email to support and uh, we're gonna uh, uh, try our best to, to help you there. Thank you very much for attending today.